Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Visual Thinker. Today we are going to install and configure Octoprint component for Home Assistant. We'll start in 10 seconds. So today we are going to install and configure Octoprint component for the Home Assistant. If you are watching this, then probably you already have a 3D printer or you are looking into buying one. What you also need is Octoprint installed on a Raspberry Pi, for example. I myself am using Raspberry Pi 3B+. And you have to have camera uh, attached to the Raspberry Pi, for example, USB camera or Raspberry Pi camera, if you want to have images and streams for your camera inside your Home Assistant. Let's start configuring our server. First, we have to go back to our Synology. Let's open File Station, Home Assistant, Configuration File, and let's go to the back of the file. Next thing we have to do is we have to define Octoprint component. For this, we have to type Octoprint there are two mandatory variables for the configuration. First one is host, and this is the host IP address or host name of the Octoprint server. For me, this is 192.168.1.100. And the second one is API key. This is the key we will be copying from the Octoprint configuration inside our Home Assistant configuration. And once again, since this is, a, let's call it a sensitive information, we'll put it in a secret file. So it's secret and we'll call this Octo API. Okay, this is it for the configuration file. Let's press save. And now let's open secrets file. We'll put here a brief description. So it's Octo print. And we will now define variable. Octo API. If you do not know where to find Octo API, let's search for it together. In order for us to copy uh, API, we will go to Octoprint web address. Let's press settings and here you will have API. Let's press API, copy, close. And now we will copy this inside our secrets file. Okay, let's press save. And let's go back inside our Home Assistant, configuration, server control, check configuration. And configuration is valid. And before we continue, what I want to do else is I want to define additional components that I can get from my printer. So first I will personalize uh, entities from this printer. This is also very good practice if you have uh, more than one printer. So it will be name and let's call this Ender3. Next I need to tell Home Assistant that I'm using heated bed. Default value is false, so I will put here true. This is the reason for this is that I want to track the value of or temperature of my printer. And what else do I want to do is declare how many tools or other elements I want to track on my uh, printer. The variable for this is number of tools. And I will put here one because Ender 3, of course, has only one hot end. So I will be tracking temperature of the bed and I will be tracking temperature of one tool. And before we continue, let's press save. What I also want to have in my home assistant is uh, still images and stream from my Octopi webcam. In order to do that, we will define camera. We will tell Home Assistant that we want to use platform MJPEG. 
mjpeg. Next, what we have to do is we have to name it. Let's give it a name octopi. And here we have to define two URLs. One URL will be used for still images and the second one will be used for mjpeg files. So still image URL equals HTTP 192.168.1100 webcam slash question mark action equals snapshot and the mjpeg URL is similar so it's HTTP 192.168.1100 slash webcam slash question mark action equals equals stream and that's it what we have done now is we have defined all the necessary components for the octoprint so it's host ip uh, api that's inside secrets file we've given the name and we define that we want to track the temperature of the bed and one hot end also what created we created new camera entity that will be using mjpeg platform uh, we named it octopi and we will be using two urls one url will be for still images and the other one will be for mjpegs let's go back to our home assistant let's check our configuration once more and let's restart the server and our server is back online overview configure UI and let's create a new tab we'll call it 3d printer save okay let's now add information from our ender 3 printer so let's add card first of all let's add picture glance and we will be using octa pi here information let's save nice now let's add for example uh, graphs we'll be adding under three bed temperature and under three tool temperature here okay so we have those two temperatures here and of course we can add other various entities so it's for example Ender 3 printing state uh, time remaining. Okay, let's say that this is it for this demo. And the next time you start printing, it will give information if the printer is printing or not, if it has error or not, what is the actual bed temperature, what is the actual tool temperature. And of course, you will be able to see images from your webcam here, uh, either as a still image, this is a still image, or when you enlarge it, you will have direct stream with the MJPEG protocol. And this is it for this episode of Home Assistant How To with Bearded Thinker. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that I was not too confusing. If you do have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this component or any other component I already said video about, please leave it down in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will be seeing you in next video. Until then, bye bye and have fun.